Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find these videos is when you're meant to hear the messages within them. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Virgo and Pisces on Saturdays. I'm gonna go ahead and put these cards back actually because they fell out in a group that I think is a little too big. But like I was saying, the deck that I'm using today is called the Crystal Visions Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, my information is in the description below. But I do want to give you guys a heads up that sometimes the cards like to flip in the deck. I do see them. However, I only take jumpers. And usually if the cards jump out in a group that's too big, I'll go ahead and put them back and continue shuffling. And my goal here is to get you guys roughly eight or nine cards, and then we can get started on your reading. Oh, let me just grab that card that fell. And I'm just going to shuffle and pull three or four more cards for you guys, and then we can get started on your overall energy and your reading. Alright Pisces, I do want to remind you guys that if you enjoy the reading, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment, but your overall energy here is the Four of Cups, which is very interesting to me because the Four of Cups talks about dissatisfaction. So I think that there's some aspect in your life right now, Pisces, that you're not very happy with. Because the Four of Cups talks about wanting more out of the situation and just general dissatisfaction, right? I feel like there's something here that is leaving you in a sense of longing, right? And you can see the symbolism here that you have that this woman has these three lily cups, or sorry, these lily pads, and she has the one cup sort of. The symbolism here is that she's almost wanting three more cups than she has, right? And it's very interesting to me how difficult it sort of was for me to get that idea out. And I think that a lot of you guys are experiencing the same thing. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's hard to articulate um, how you feel about the situation and perhaps what your dissatisfaction is, right? So when it comes to communication uh, with other people, in particular with your feelings, it almost feels like people just don't understand you. And that might also sort of link back to what this dissatisfaction is. It's sort of you wanting to be understood more. Um, and that's certainly something that you have every every right to, to be, is to be understood. It's just difficult when you have a hard time communicating your thoughts uh, and people, you know, have a hard time understanding them in turn. But I feel like that's something that you guys can work on, they can also work on, and at the same time, you know, we are currently in a Mercury retrograde as I'm filming this video, so communication is going to be hard and harsh in general, but here in your reading, you have the King of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, that's a great combination of energies, but I also want to point out that there's three lily pads and a cup, the same here in this reading or the same in this card, I should say. And that to me, it feels like there's somebody else here who has that same sort of feeling, right? Um, they understand you, I feel. And I think that it's equally as hard for them to express themselves to you. But do know that there's somebody here in this situation that understands you, right? You may wear, sorry, you may very well be the King of Cups, and you may be going after a queen of cups, right? The energies don't really matter. It just understand that those are substitutes for one person and the other person. But I feel like whoever this person is, they want to come forth in a way that you understand and in a way that makes sense to you. And there's the Ace of Pentacles here as well. And the Ace of Pentacles to me is phenomenal energy because it talks about really 
getting that new beginning, right? It's a breath of fresh air for you guys. And anything that has to do with finances or material stability, I feel like you're going to get a fresh gust of energy, like a, a, like a summer breeze that's really going to refresh you and motivate you to sort of move forward. Um, because I think that a lot of you guys are losing kind of motivation, right? We have th this general sense of dissatisfaction, which again, could also be just your mood in general. So I feel like a lot of you guys might be in a rut or even depressed. And I, I think that this Ace of Pentacles is exactly what you guys need in order to really start pushing things through. And you have the Fool card and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which is an amazing combination of energy, right? I think that you guys in the past have felt as this Five of Pentacles in reverse. Sorry, this Five of Pentacles as the upright. Because the Five of Pentacles talks about being left out in the cold and being treated like you're not welcome. This is having the door shut on your face. Uh, so I think that you guys are sort of moving past that energy because it's in reverse. So I feel like you guys don't feel that way anymore. I, uh, at least for the majority of you, you guys are mostly over whatever this situation was, right? And I think that that's really good energy to be in because you have the full card. And the full card is a really powerful energy of new beginnings. The fool is free and liberated from their old life and they are filled with infinite possibilities and they have so many things that they could possibly do that they don't even know where to start. So if you guys don't feel that way right now, do know that it's coming and do know that you're going to be free of whatever it is that makes you feel like you're in the cold, like somebody shut you out. And I see a lot of powerful energy coming forward right? Because you have the judgment and you have the moon card. So I do want to mention that the moon card is actually the card of Pisces. So I think that you guys are very much in your own energy right now. But beyond just being the card of Pisces, the moon card represents everything in the subconscious, everything that isn't drawn out to light yet. But I feel like the fact that the moon card is here, it's saying that a lot of things are going to come out to light, right? The moon reflects the light of the sun. So there's a sense of illusion here because the moon, the moon does not produce its own light. But regardless of that fact, it brings light and that light is going to illuminate things that perhaps you haven't seen in the past. And with that information, you're going to have this judgment moment. And I think that you are the one that's in charge of the judgment moment. You're not going to be the one that's being judged. You're the one that's passing verdicts. And the judgment card can be sometimes known for being overly harsh, but it also is the card of second chances. So do understand that you guys have a lot of power when you have the judgment card. You are able to decide who gets a second chance and who doesn't. And that's a strong, that's a very hefty power. And as the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. And I think that you guys are going to do a great job of that because you have this moon card here, because you guys have the fool card, because you have the king of cups, right? I feel like you guys are very emotionally, I don't want to say emotionally invested in the situation, but your head and your heart are in the right place. I just think that the situation is very difficult on you and it's very easy for you to feel overwhelmed in this particular situation. And with the dissatisfaction, you just feel like you want to get away from it all. So it's difficult, but I think that you guys are fully capable of handling a situation. And then you have the Two of Pentacles, which to me thinks, to, to me feels like you guys are doing a lot of thinking and a lot of balancing, right? Like I said before, the Judgment card is a huge responsibility and you guys are going to do the Judgment here in a way that is fair and balanced. And I think that this is you sort of balancing all the things in your life, right? Sometimes this can be interpreted as juggling and people will say that there is multiple people involved and they're being juggled, but I don't think it's that at all. I think it's more the fact that you guys are having to play this balancing act with all the different things in your life. I feel like it's all just kind of like coming to a halt right now um, and you're kind of at the apex of everything in your life and you have to deal with it all. And with this Nine of Cups, I feel like you guys are going to 
really come through triumphing in the end because the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So I think that right now is a really good time for you guys to set down your seat of intentions and really try to manifest what it is that you want in your life because I see it coming true. What What is it that makes you feel dissatisfied about your life? What is it that you don't like? Because when the Nine of Pentacles is here, you have the complete opposite energy. Every, anything, everything and anything that you could want is here. So be uh, very proactive when it comes to sort of letting your imagination bring this into reality and, you know, turn your dreams into realities is basically the, the energy that I'm getting here. But that was your reading for Sim Around Pisces. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new videos for Pisces on Saturdays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.